All right, see you later. Okay, good luck. Uh, <clears throat> well, back to work. She's really got you trained, hasn't she, sir? What? Train? What do you mean? Hey, what are you smiling at? Hurry up and get back to work. I'm on it. 
See how he always changes the subject? What was that, Togashi? Nothing at all, sir. You're just hearing things. I swear. Huh? What's up? Still not convinced? Oh, no. It's not that. It's just... I know how you feel, but you saw what happened just now. Even the chief is cautious sometimes. Besides... Oh, that's right. You just transferred in a month ago, right? I guess you couldn't have known. You mean the accident from two years ago? I've heard about it, but I don't know any details. Now the two of you can be alone. Why don't you ask her out while you're at it? We can handle the rest by ourselves. This is your big chance! I told you guys, it's not like that! I'm crying out loud. Anyway, I'd better get this to her. Good luck! Yeah. Go, Tiger! Jeez, they just don't know when to quit. It's not like I don't want to. I just can't. run like ours. still here, huh? Killing yourself over work won't get you very far. Oh. How are you? I had to get this data done before morning, so I... Well, what are you doing here so late, Kevin? You'd better get some sleep. We've got an early morning ahead. Here, this is for you. Thank you. To tell you the truth, I haven't been able to sleep lately. Something's been on my mind. On your mind? Tomorrow she's finally going to wake up. I'm looking forward to seeing her come to life, but... I have no idea what to say to her when she wakes up. It's been bothering me. I'm just being weird, huh?
Why don't you just say, Good morning, Cosmos. Good, good morning? Well, that's what you say to someone when they wake up, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. Thanks. I think I can finally get some sleep now. Glad to help, sir. You should get some rest, too. All right. Well, good night. Good night. Yeah. Everybody's so eager to see her. You slacker! Only authorized personnel are allowed up here. I've had three people vanish on me already! Get the hell out of here! My men will start slacking off they see bimbos like you around! I'm so sorry. Who's the idiot that let civilians on this ship? What the hell are you staring at? Oh. What do you mean, Alan? Don't act so surprised. Didn't you forget something important? You know, 
It's dangerous wandering around in a daze like that. Yeah. Sorry. I was just thinking about something. Are you all right? Huh? Yeah. Uh, I'm just not myself today. Alan, thanks for stepping in back there. Ah, uh, no. I, I should have spoken to the new guy earlier. So, you don't need to thank me. But, it would really help if you would try to understand their feelings more. I, I know everyone's still a little uneasy about Cosmos, but they've been pouring their hearts and souls into this project. They all want to see with their own eyes the end results of what they've been working so hard to complete. I feel the same way myself, you know? I know that. It's just that I... Chief. The incident, right? Huh? Oh! <laughs> I see. You're... Hmm? Sorry. That's not quite it. Forget about it. It's nothing. Let's just hurry up and get Cosmos completed, okay? Oh. Who could that be? More Realian maintenance? They really should stop calling you all the time. Technically, it's a violation of regulations for you to deal with other divisions. Besides, aren't they expecting you on the bridge? Oh, don't worry about it. I don't want to brush them off. Besides, it's on the way, and I've got some time. See ya. Ow. Ugh. I forgot to ask her out after work.
Hello, you rang? My apologies, Miss Uzuki. It seems we're constantly in need of your help. No problem, Lieutenant. I want everyone to be healthy and happy too, after all. So, what's the problem today? Well, I'm trying to teach them some new battle algorithms to better reflect the unit's reorg. But the integration is not going very smoothly. You're right. He's rejecting the data. Let's see. Well, I've made some adjustments, but please contact 3rd Division once we return. I recommend they receive more intensive counseling soon. I'll be sure to do so. You know, I'm really impressed. Providing Realian psych support on top of developing Cosmos? I hear even specialized counselors have a hard time... Oh, I'm just making the most of what my mentor taught me. I'm glad I could be of help. Besides, 
I always wanted to work in the third division. Actually, I'm thinking about requesting a transfer once my current work's finished. But Vector's first R&D division has the best researchers in the organization. Everyone knows not just anyone can get in there. Are you sure that you want a transfer? Oh, yes. Besides, my family's always asking, how did you get assigned to the first division? There must have been a mistake in the paperwork. Who knows, maybe they're right. Besides, I want to learn so much more about them. What's learning about them going to do for you? Lieutenant Virgil! Their stench. What? It reeks. I can't get their rotten odor out of my system. Can't you smell it? It makes me sick to my stomach. Huh? What are you? <gasps> That's enough. You got your orders from the Lieutenant Commander, didn't you? One of the goals of this operation is to enhance combat support between the Eggs and the new model Realians. And yet your... Support? Huh. In a battle against them? The last thing I want to worry about is supporting a bunch of untested, weapons-grade Realians. Um... Excuse me, but these people are highly qualified soldiers. These people? You're treating equipment like people? Oh, you really shouldn't say things like that. These people have the same intellect and emotions as us. And the Milsha Charter clearly spelled out the basic human rights of Realians when it was ratified in 4763. What a load of crap. Get off your soapbox. You act noble and preach about humanity, but in the end, they're just equipment as far as your company's concerned. Or maybe... more like merchandise. We don't treat them anything like equipment or merchandise. Then why do you categorize them as weapons-grade realians? How much more evidence do you need than that? Whatever you care to call them, they're nothing but tools of warfare. Besides, I know your little secret. You guys have an emergency override code to control them, don't you? Uh. Virgil! Why are you... Huh? What do you want? It is as you say, sir. We are manufactured as merchandise and raised accordingly. However, I take great pride in what I do now. And this pride was not forced upon me. It is of my own free will. <clears throat> free will, huh? Well, good for you. You'd better just enjoy it while you can. The time will come soon enough when you'll realize what's going on. Just you wait. Is he... a DME addict? My apologies, Ms. Uzuki. 
He wasn't always like that. But then, something happened. Is he an old... acquaintance? We were classmates at the military academy, and I've been stuck with him since then. It was Milsha. I see. So... that's why. You knew about that, huh? Then again, anyone planning to join the 3rd Division would know. Well, I... I'm from Milsha. Huh? Of course, no one's allowed to go there anymore. My family moved to Second Milsha when they transferred the capital after the war. And my brother still lives there alone. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring back painful memories. Oh, it's all right. After all, it's something we must never forget about. For our sake, and theirs as well. Oh no! I forgot I had to report to the bridge! Sorry, I'll come back to check on them later. Bye! Bye. <laughs> 